Zach, congratulations. This must be a very happy and significant moment in your career. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed Manchester and my time here with the guys and, and the coaching staff so far. So uh, this is a very proud day for myself and my family. This football club has a very good record of getting players to commit their future. Um, what was it that made you want to stay here for a bit longer? I think it's just the culture um, within the, the, the whole club, um, the coaching staff, the players, uh, the drive to just get better each and every day and, and to be fighting for, for trophies um, in, in four tournaments each year um, and just the drive to be um, the best you can be uh, each and every day, each and every game. Um, it was really a no-brainer to, uh, to extend my contract. Last season was a big one for you, played in every round of both cup competitions, won the Carabao Cup, got to the last four of the FA Cup. How pleased were you with your performance level last season? Yeah, so it was a, it was a good first year. Um, I, I definitely felt like I, gr uh, I grew um, from the first day, the first training and, and the first game and into the, the last game of the season. Um, and it gave me a lot of confidence um, coming into this year, um, knowing that I can uh, play at this level and, and, and um, they're, they're happy with me here and um, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm happy here and, and uh, last year definitely gave me the confidence to, to strive for bigger and better goals this year. And Pep was recently saying how much he feels you've improved since you arrived. What's your take on that and, and, and what areas do you think you've, you've particularly got better at? Yeah, I mean it's always um, nice when you when you get some good praise from from such a significant um, one of the best coaches ever. Um, yeah, I mean just my composure, I would say uh, my composure, my uh, playing out. I feel uh, more settled and, and I feel like the guys have a little bit more trust with me um, back there in, in the games. Um, and, and yeah, just feeling more comfortable on the ball and. and being able to, to make the, the, the plays that I need to make. I think that composure is has been noticeable and City goalkeepers have to be good with their feet. You know, we hear Cheeky and, and Pep say that uh, repeatedly. That's um, a philosophy that you were familiar with before coming here um, because at Columbus Crew under Greg Barelti, you, you played in that way, didn't you? Can you just tell me a little bit about the experience you had there and how that prepared you for life at City? Yeah, Greg, uh, yeah, he loves the way he wants to keep the ball. Uh, he loves the way that Pep wants to play and, and how we play here at City. Um, so he, he tries to, to mimic it a little bit. So that definitely helped me at least understand the game um, a little bit more coming into uh, Manchester City. Um, and then obviously coming here, it's faster player, players, better players, um, smarter players. So uh, it took a little bit of time to, to get used to that all of that but um, now I feel I feel settled and I feel I feel uh, yeah, part of it and Edison one of the best goalkeepers in the world does competing with him drive you to a higher level do you feel yeah I think the the keeper um, the keeper group that we have with Scott Eddie and myself um, Chavi and the rich uh, we have a really good culture um, of pushing each other and, and supporting one another and being friends off the field and, and having fun each and every day um, and I think having that type of relationship um, allows us to, to be honest with each other and, and push each other each and every day and get better. You mentioned Chabi Mancisador there, who Pep says is the best goalkeeping coach in the business. I mean, what's your experience of working with him and how, how good is he at what he does? I mean, he's by far the best uh, keeper coach I've ever worked with. Um, just so detailed and, and, um, and I, can, I can definitely um, attest that I've gotten uh, a lot better since um, being here working. Does being a number two goalkeeper mean that you need a really strong mentality in a way because you've got to be in top condition all the time and ready to play at any moment and, and try and take that opportunity as best you can? Yeah, um, for sure. This is the, so last year was my first time being the, the number two keeper. Um, and yeah, it's definitely, I've definitely learned a lot um, and you definitely have to keep a strong mentality and, and stay ready and um, continue to work hard and get better each and every day and, and push, push the number one goalkeeper um, and, and push yourself um, and still enjoy it. You're the first American uh, goalkeeper, first American to be part of a Premier League uh, title winning squad and there's been some great American goalkeepers in the Premier League down the years. What does that mean to you to to achieve that milestone and be the first? 
it's a, it's a great little accolade. Um, and it, it was amazing to be part of that team last year and, and, um, and this club last year. Um, but I have bigger and better goals. Uh, yeah, I want to. It would be nice to, to be a starter and win um, win the league. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, and, and um, it's. I believe that you got to take life step by step, and, and um, I'm right where I need to be right now. The team that Pep's put together is is built to win. There's a real winning mentality here. I mean, for you, being in that environment, what does that do to your mentality? Does that make you strive for more? Yeah, absolutely. Um, iron sh sharpens iron. Um, so yeah, I mean, his his passion and intensity definitely um, rubs off on us and, and wants and pushes us to to be better each and every day. We've seen as well the great work that you do off the field with the the Voice Now Foundation that you, you started. As, as part of that, you've said you want to bring um, soccer to communities where that isn't particularly a uh, a popular sport. I mean, is is promoting the game back home something that is a is a big priority and very important to you? Yeah, I would like for for the level of, of football over there to to get better, um, just like it is over here. What are those differences? What what differences have you noticed? I feel like over here. I mean, they have academies set up and and really good trainings and and. Um, intense trainings from from such a young age um, over in America I feel like um, for me at least growing up it was more just to have fun and, and to get out of the house and stay exercise and um, if you just kept doing well you'd continue to move up the ranks and um, over here it's more of I mean it's more of the culture the the country's culture and with your foundation is that having something to focus on off the field that, that important to you because players have a quite a bit of spare time. It's nice to have something to, to focus on away from the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, my mom raised me to have a big heart and treat others how I want to be treated. So uh, I, I'm fortunate enough to have a, a, the platform that I have and to be in the, um, the, the successful situation that I'm in. So I want to give back to people who um, might not have um, the same opportunities that I had growing up. And finally then, what are your targets over the next season or two, both in terms of City and the U.S. national team? Yeah, I mean, qualify for the, the, the World Cup with the national team. Um, that's number one goal. Um, and then with City, is just to continue to grow and, and um, do better in training and, and train well, push Eddie, um, have him push me and um, get as many games as I can um, and try and lift as many trophies as I can. Brilliant. Zach, thank you so much for speaking to us and best of luck for the rest of your time here at City. Thanks, man. Thank you. Pretty small Manchester weather for another few years, Zach. That's yeah. where it is, isn't it?